Oh, baby. Oh, man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here, and today we have a little uh, creek fishing vlog adventure coming, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Time for some fishing. Alrighty guys, so making my way down to the creek, and I had something I wanted to talk with you guys about. If you guys have video suggestions for me, please let me know. You know, being that I love to fish a lot of California areas, I really don't mind filming and fishing and doing a report for anywhere in, you know, in the California area. So if you guys really have suggestions, you know, whether it's a, a bait or a rig review you wanna see, a rod and reel review, a fishing report, anything, let me know. So please let me know in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram or any of that. If you live in the Loomis area and you want to fish with me or you want to take me somewhere or you just want to hang out and talk fishing, I am completely down. So hit me up. What I'm doing right now is because the creek flows this way, um, I you always want to walk, you know, you always want to walk upstream. Um, and the reason why is because you don't want to cloud the water that is, you know, that you're walking into. It's a humongous difference. And um, especially in crystal clear creeks like this one. Oh. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a lot of fish right here. All I'm gonna do is pitch it in the front and then just let it drift. Got one. Oh my gosh, look at him chasing him. Woo! Alrighty guys, first fish, first cast. They absolutely smacked it. Um, so this right here is a Sacramento pike minnow, um, or otherwise known as the squawfish. Um, now this is, the this fish is actually very, very invasive to many waterways, but in this creek, they are actually native. I just found that out. Either way, this is a decent little fish. Um, they don't fight super hard, but they are extremely aggressive. Um, and that's the thing I love about them is when you find a pack of them like this, I think there's a trout in there too, but when you find a pack of them like this, they get super aggressive and super fun to hook into. Peace out, little homie. All right, there he goes. All righty, let's get another one. Holy crap, there's so many fish. Like, guys, there's... Holy moly, there's a lot of fish. Got him. Wow, okay, there is another little, whew, another little pike minnow. We will release him and get him out of here. See ya, dude. All right, time to head on to the next spot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big pike minnow. Oh baby, let's go. Now that is a big pike minnow if I've ever seen one, holy moly. Dang, all right. Oh, he spermed all over me too. They're spawning right now in this creek, so. Peace, little homie. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh man, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I was not expecting him to come out. Holy. Oh. Oh. I gotta loosen my drag a little bit. Dang, he's pulling drag. 
Now that, come here, that is a rainbow. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go. God, what a pretty little fish. Look at him, man. Beautiful colors. Ooh, and perfect hook set right on the corner, and it's out. Bye-bye, dude. Woo! Alrighty guys, so I actually, sorry I've been a little quiet, but I actually just kind of, actually just did a little undercover, undercover ops, alright. So this is actually a part of the creek I've never fished before. These people right here are always angry because I walk through the creek, and the creek is not their property, but they somehow think it is. All I'm doing is just walking in the creek. And so I just got past it. And this is actually the first time that I've ever done this. So this is completely new water that I have never ever fished before. And I don't think anybody has ever even been in. Oh, oh, there's a good little hole. Oh yeah, nope, little guy. Oh, is that a trout? Oh yeah, baby trout, guys. Look at that, oh, how awesome is that, guys? Look at this. Little baby rainbow. Golly, look at the, whoa. Look at the colors on that dude. Gosh, that is a beautiful fish. And I hooked him perfect and gone. Wow, those trout are just, just sliming out of my hands today. My goodness. All right, so this spot looks kind of, kind of juicy this is this is a this is a trouty kind of kind of spot right here oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah I called that one. Oh, pretty little rainbow goodness gracious look at him all right come here oh look at him so pretty golly what a pretty rainbow dang okay so he he didn't swallow it but it's in there a little bit. So I'm gonna bring out the handy little pliers. Oh, look at that, pretty. See, look at him, swimming fine. He's gonna go right back into that hole and he's gonna be a perfectly healthy fish, which is what we want. All right, let's look and see what we got. Oh, wow. All right, we got a lot of brush and debris. So, that's gonna conclude <laughs> our walk forward. Now, we walk back. We made it, guys. I'm pooped. That was quite a trip. Um, am I tired? Yes. Do my legs hurt? Yes. Am I absolutely, ch oh my gosh, I am chowed by mosquitoes. Yes. But boy, did we land some good fish. Um, lost a lot of trout, but I also caught a lot of trout. So I will take that. When you're fishing something like that, I mean, look at how beautiful it is. So no complaints here. If you guys really are into tracking your fish, um, like I could have done here, I could have marked what trout were in each hole, then I would suggest downloading the Fat Sack Outdoors app. Um, you can track your fish, you can log them with what weather, what temperature, anything. You know, there's a whole list of stuff you can do on it. And uh, you can also enter your fish into tournaments, win prizes, win a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I want a Yeti cooler. Uh, it just makes me a better fisherman in general and i absolutely love that so um yeah we will see you guys next time on humbug outdoors fishing
Yeah, yeah.